XYZ, we keep, what keeps me loving you? I can't speak tonight. What keeps me loving you? What a killer song. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Alan. Alan knocked it out of the park, dude. Great classic. Touch of White Snake, you know? Um, is this love, that type of vibe? Um, forget the guitar player's name in XYZ. It's not, is it Diglio? I can't remember. But this solo is smoking, dude. You're going to love it. Very melodic. Um, so, anyways, I was playing the the chorus obviously but on the intro here section one one second in clean channel it's an E minor bar you're gonna bar everything on the seventh fret except the top string and then go 9D 9G and 8B and we're gonna strum all those and then all you gotta do is lift everything off just keep the bar down and strum that it does that two times actually my bad Go back to this first chord and take the pinky off of it. Um, it's an E minor 7. If you listen close in there, it's... And then a B minor 7. This is the same chord but barred on the 2nd fret. A string through high E, 4D and 3B. And then a C major. I'm going to give you two ways to do it. I'm hearing 3A, 5th fret D, G, and B, and 3 on the high E. It's crammed though. I usually use two fingers to do the barring there. If that high E string drives you crazy, just, you know, go. And that's going to go twice. That's the main hook there. Um, I figured you were going to want all three solos, man, so we went for it. They're pretty short. Um, the first solo comes in over that rhythm, 11 seconds in, 10th fret B string, and you can hear like some raking, like if you were doing a sweep, like... So I'm muting the D and G, grabbing the 10B and bending it, holding it, and releasing it. I'm just muting with like the index and middle, you know, or whatever finger you want. Okay, and then... Go 8B, hammer 10, pull 8, slide 7. Sounds like this. Make sure your hammer is loud, your, your pull off is loud. They gotta be even, is what I'm getting at. And the slide. 8B, 7G, 9G, vibrato. So we have. All right, uh, back to section one, two times through. Okay, that's the clean part we started with. Um, section two, 40 seconds in. Um, I have to hear something though really quick. Should be distorted. It is. Open A. You're gonna like these chords, man. These aren't the, you know, at just a quick listen, you don't, hear a lot of the more melodic notes that are in these. He's using some pretty cool chords. Open A, barred fifth fret, D, G, and B. Sounds like this. It's a C major with an A bass. And then a D major, which is 5A, seventh fret, D, G, and B. Do them again. And then do the first chord. And end it with uh, C octave and D octave. So 3A, 5G. We're muting the D string. And go four times. Same thing on the fifth and seventh fret. So it's. Okay, then this really cool part the course. 56 seconds in, section three. It's an E5 power chord to start with. Open E, 2A, short rest. Palm mute the open E three times. As you're palm muting those, get your hand up here for the first chord of section one that we did. It's the barred seventh fret, remember that? So we have. 
And then the second chord as well, which is all the sevens barred. And then go to nine, uh, nine, seven, eight, and just slide it on the D, G, and B. So it's and the open A barred fifth fret D, G, and B. After that, you're gonna go 3A, 5th fret D and G, you can bar those over here or you can use three fingers for the whole chord, doesn't really matter. Um, you're gonna strum them and then palm mute the open A string down up, and then move it up to a D chord, which is the same thing as the C, just two frets higher, 5th, 7th, and 7th. Let it ring and then hit it and slide. Start it over. Hit the 7 on the D and G and slide. Back to the C chord. So it's ending very similar to the first half. After this, uh, after you go through the whole 7th fret D and G slide, you go directly to the C. 3, 5, 5, A, D, and G. Rest, hit it again. Palm at the open A, down up into the D chord, 5th, 7th, and 7th fret. And then slide. And that's it for that. Solo number 2, 15th fret on the B string. Just uh, bend it, and hold it. A long time. Then, I love having uh, being able to teach whammy. All the CBTs have been coming in in tunings that I didn't have, so good job, Alan. All right, 15B, we're gonna whammy up. In other words, we're gonna like hammer the 15, but the bar's gonna be down, and then bring the bar up to pitch. Pull off to 12, and then vibrato. And then same concept, but eighth fret on the B, pulling off to the seventh. 7th pull off to the 5th, same concept. So, pick the 3, and then whammy swoop up to the 3. Pull off to open. Okay, so. And that's it for that. Series of repeats, and then right before the solo, 2 minutes, 19 seconds in. This might even be clean. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, it's synthesized there and it's kind of hard to hear the particulars of the chord. I may be making the chord harder than what it is, but um, if you mix the bass and the guitar, these notes are all in there. The jazz chord, really. I love this chord. So it's like a D sus2 with a C bass, but you're going to go middle. It's one of my favorite chords, too, and you don't hear them in rock. 8E. Muted A, no biggie, because we're going to mute it um, probably anyways with our middle finger. And then barred 7th fret D and G, and then 8th fret B, and just strum it. Let me go to distortion, because I think that's what he has here. And then, from there, we need to lift the 3rd finger off to where it's now 8, mute, 7, 7, 7. So... So, if that drives you crazy, Alan, just get rid of the low E string and go. Okay, and then this amazing solo we're going to start right now. Um, palm mute the first six notes. It's seven on the A. It's moderate tempo, so he's down picking this. You're going to go 7A, 457D, 457G. Don't palm mute the 7 on the G though. And then go 5, 7, 7 on the B, half step bend release. Pull off to 5, and then whammy swoop. Oops. Or. Then go 7G, middle finger slide to 9. 
and then 8 10 B and then 10 bend so it's as you're bending it the whole step use your pinky go to 11 B stop the notes go back to 10 bend hold release pull off to 8 and then 10 B vibrato so pretty crazy huh a lot of style in this player um, oops Two minutes 32 seconds in, 12B down up to 15 high E bend, hold, release. And then this riff's really cool. You go. E, pick twice, pull off to 12, and then down up 15 B. It's important, Alan, those four notes to, re to think of this as a four note concept of pick, pull, and then down up. All right, so because we're going to use that now on the 12th fret high E, so we'll go down up, 15 B, pull to 12. Slash does this in Sweet Child of Mine. I think he goes the other direction, though. that part you know so we have 15 B down up pull to 12 and then 14 G 12 B twice 14 pull 12 G 14 G twice pull off to 12 14 D <clears throat> and then go Let's see. 12G twice to 14D vibrato, so that kind of ends that four note concept. <coughs> Excuse me. 12G upstroke, 14D down, pull off to 12, and you're gonna go, and then down on 14D vibrato, do that twice. Um, 12D up, 14A down, slide to 12, hold. Hold a 10. It's not a real long hold, but. And then go uh, 12E, 12A, 12E. Palm you just the E string, down, up, down. And then 10th fret on the A, up, down. So. 12E slide. Intonation's out on that string. All right, 243 timestamp. 4D hammer to 5. Just a really cool melody, man. Things don't always have to be fast. And Diglio, if I think I'm saying his name right, or Diglio. Uh, um, man, I hope that's his name because I've said it like four times. But this is just very melodic. It's not always about the shred, but he does technique, some shred, and melody. I mean, what a beautiful solo, man. It's like a song within it. Four hammer five on the D. Four D five A. Start it over. After the hammer, just go four D slide the. And then palm mute three on the E string, hammer to five, and you're gonna go. Let's see. Three five five on the A. Or wait, yeah, three five five on the A. But palm mute all this. And then hit the 5A without palm muting. It's a real, like, exaggerated, drawn out, long bend vibrato. So. Alright, then we have a shred riff. And this one kind of picks up in speed. You'll go, um. Seven on the A, go four D. That's the palm muted part, and then no palm mute here. Four hammer five, pull four on the D to seven A. Follow the picking in your tabs for sure, man. 
if you want to get the speed of this. And then four, five, seven on the D. On the G string, Satriani time, go four G, hammer five, seven, pull five, four, and then seven D. Take them in those pieces, Alan, you know, like. Oh, you can take the seven on the D off, just practice the legato. The... Seven D, and then go four, five, seven on the G. So up to there, we have. B, we're gonna go five and then hammer seven eight pull seven five so that gives us top of page four eight G now this part's tricky and I mean real tricky Alan because check it out after that you gotta go index finger seven on the B string so if you're not thinking, you're gonna end up going. It's like, why not do that? Well, his next riff is going seven, eight, ten. So, so I'd highly suggest subgrouping that. Once you get there, go seven, hammer eight, and then pick ten. You're gonna do that three times. If it feels too weird, you can. It's a faster thing though. 7 on the high E, hammer 810, pull 87.